Hello, what's going on YouTube? Fusion Perfects here, part of the Fusion Clan, bringing you my first video of Ark Survival Evolved. It's a game which has been out for quite a long time on PC and has recently came out on Xbox about three months ago. It is an open world crafting survival game set in the prehistoric era. Today I'm going to be showing you the basics of the game like how to craft, build and basically survive on it without getting killed by dinosaurs or food and hunger every second. Um, as you can see I'm on the home page where you can choose different settings to put on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a difficulty level up to 4 so it's pretty easy to find high level dinosaurs to kill level up with and just so contain better dinosaurs. Put the disable decay PvE on so if I build a massive base it won't get destroyed when I'm offline. Enable crosshair just so it's easier for me to shoot stuff even though I'm pretty good aim. And show map play location so I know where I am constantly, even though I know the map. I'm going to put a taming speed on full just so you have to sit there for hours watching me tame a T Rex or something like that. The XP must probably be up by t 3. And yeah, I put it up by 3. Just so it's better, I'm going to keep all at the same. So it's it's got to be night time quite a lot, but I can change the gamma so it, you'll be able to see as much as good as I will basically. The harvest amount is going to be put up to 3 as well, just so you don't have to stand there for ages. I was going to say the same, I'm going to put a dino character food drain on full. So, basically, the same is not quicker again. So, let's start it up. I'm going to be doing this first series on my own, with no help or anything, no building, no taming anything. Once I've reached basically the end game where I've got everything I want, like a big base, turrets, all the dinosaurs, things like that. But after that I should be doing a second series with mainly my friend Fusion Reese, a bit of Fusion Raza, Augie and Perry, and my other good friend Hunter. Um, if you already liked or been on their channels then the link should be in the description below so you can go and check that out if you want. Razit is currently doing a Ark Survival Vault series as well, so it's good to check out. I'm going to be doing around 60 to 80 episodes, depending on how long it takes me to get to the end game. Um, if you like this video, then please click the like button below and subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up on the series. If you want me to try out any games which you like, then I'll try and make a video out of it and put up a just put it in the comment section below and I'll try and buy it. So I'm going to change my name to Fusion Percy. Fusion. No space. Percy. I'm not going to change my character because it just takes too long and don't start on camera. Great new survivor. Now, I've not got any previous on this game like I've played it before like quite a lot but this map which we're going to now is completely blank I wiped all the settings and data and everything I've got from this account and the reserved space so everything is reset right I'm in the game now um, first thing you want to do is see these rocks on the floor just go around and pick a couple of them up you need rocks to quite actually build quite a few things like your pickaxe and your thingy and your hatchet Right, so what you're going to do now is go and hit a tree. I would be careful though because it does damage you. So if you hit it too much it can put you quite low off so the devil could just come along and kill you quite easily. Right, so there's still pickaxe made already. To be able to craft stuff, you basically just, just for the starter bit where you get a stone pickaxe and a torch, you just press B to get into your inventory like I've just done then. Press R B to get to this screen where you can craft it. It tells you what it is, the durability, the weapon damage and like stuff you need to build it. It gives you a description of the item so you know what to do anything. Oh, and it's yeah, just leveled up. So I'm going to do my movement speed up so I'm faster than most dinosaurs. And now here, yeah, I've got end gun points. This is what you click on that and you can find all your stuff like this is the things this way you find everything in the whole game which you can build and stuff like this. If it stops lagging out I can get back to the top. Right, so I'm just going to lock the hatchet and the spear, oh, oh, and the spear for now. As you can see below the end points button, you've got quite a few different things you can have. Health is obviously just how much health you've got. Stamina is, you run out of stamina quite often, and it is quite annoying to get back, because you've got to either lie down or stay up still for quite a minute. 
Oxygen is underwater. Food, as you can see, is just food and water the same. Weight is how much you can carry on you. As you can see right now, I've got 11 rocks, which weigh 5.5 at the bottom. It tells you what it is. That's an artifact. That's use. Everybody starts off with that. Weapon, resource again. So then below that, you've got melee damage, which is how much damage you do per hit. I, it doesn't count with bows or guns. It just counts with spears and hatchets and pickaxes. Then you've got movement speed. Fortitude is like how well your body copes with heat and cold. So if you go into snow biome, then it won't be too bad. And if you get a sudden heat wave, then you won't basically die from it and have to be next to water every two seconds. Crafting speed is just how quick you craft stuff, basically. And torpor is saving you by a scorpion, or something which is poisons you and knocks you out. And torpor is like what knocks you out, basically. A scorpion, it will one shot you and it, you'll be knocked out, unless you've got stim berries. There are five or uh, six different types of stim berries. You've got narco berries, azo berries, tinto berries, ana berries, stim berries. Stim berries basically keep you awake. Narco berries knock you out and you can make narcotics with it. I wouldn't recommend eating them unless you're near water or unless you want to be knocked out on the floor. And all the other berries are just for making paints with and eating basically. So I'm just going to gather a bit of fibre and get some berries well so I don't start starving in a minute. Alright, let's get a stone hatchet. I need one flint and ten thatch, right. As you can see in my inventory, I've got a stone pickaxe there. So you have a click on it and it says use item. I don't well, I don't use it anyway. You can either drag it across like that, or you can just double tap A and it takes it back in your inventory, and double tap A again and it'll take it back over there. It was putting the most closest spot to the bottom, basically. I think at the bottom you've got different buttons to click to get different weapons out. Like, I've not currently got anything else but this hatchet, so, I mean, pickaxe, so you can't, I can't equip anything else until I get this and show you. Right, there's a flint, there's a stone pickaxe, hatchet. Let's equip that. Right, as you can see what I've been doing is for different like different items give you different things per like resource. So the hatchet will give you wood from a tree, as you see we have more wood. And the pickaxe will give you more thatch. With a rock is the same, flint you get by hitting it with a pickaxe, and stone you get by hitting it with the hatchet. Right. Well, can't go through there. Right, so I think what I'm going to do now is start making some armour. So, I need to unlock it first, actually. I'll make a spear first. I've already got fibre for it. What else do I need to make a spear? Oh! I need to make it. And I just need flint and I can make another one. I always carry two of me because they break very easily. Sometimes you can hit something once and it'll break. Just out of nowhere. It's kind of annoying sometimes, but it does make it unpredictable and more fun makes the game more fun because you don't know what you're gonna have to do to survive. Right there's some more flint and let's make oh make number three. And as you can see I've got another level up. So I'm just gonna keep on doing movement speed until I've got a relatively good amount. Go unlock some of the armor now just so I can make some of it. As you can see the cloth shirt, hat and pants only need fibre to be able to make. However, when I unlock the boots and gloves, for some reason I'm not too sure why, but they need hide with it as well. So I'm just going to go out and gather a bit of fibre first, just to quick some this armour. Now, it does take quite a while to gather fibre. Like, unless you get a gigantic Pithecus, which is basically a big gorilla, which you can set on roaming in like a controlled area and it will gather loads of fibre for you. It is quite hard to get this. I don't know how much I need. I only need a bit. It's only 10 to be able. As you can see right now, just so I can point it out quickly, while I'm crafting stuff, you walk a lot slower. So if you're trying to run away from an animal and craft arrows or craft something which you need, don't try it, you will die to that animal if it's aggressive. Right, and there's my armour. I leveled up again. As you can see I'm leveled up quite quickly because I've got three times XP on. This would not actually happen in 
a PvP server or a PvE server. Let's go with some of the gloves and boots. Almost got a slingshot. Right, now I just need some high so I'll go and kill something. Oh, I didn't even equip my spears. Now, I'm not going to try and fight anything big. I'm just going to try and find a dodo. They're basically little chickens which are really easy to kill and they don't attack you. Dillos, they, you can, I can kill it right now but I, I don't want to really get spat on by it and then you're just blinded and move slower. Now, I'm not really getting much luck here on finding anything to kill. I'm not getting any luck at all. There's a circle crossover over there which I do not want to go and fight so... As you see, there's my stamina run out. I should have been watching that. I'm lying down, you get it a hell of a lot quicker than you do stood up. So I recommend doing it because it's not that hard to do. There's actually nothing around here to kill. I'm just going to make my way, my way back because this area is a bit desolate. So I'm going to try and go like rather across the river or just run all the way back around down here. Find something to kill. And I can't actually find anything. I'm sorry about this, guys. It's not quite busy around here. It's not, you might even find a T Rex around here normally, but for some reason, not having any luck around any animals at all. Wait for sound to go back up, and there we go. Jumping it makes me feel like I'm faster, and when you've got your stamina drain to zero, then it is a lot better because it does go make you go faster. But it takes your stamina down by a lot if you are using it. I'm just going to throw my spit at this guy because it just one shots him. I can pick it back up. Now, as it is on the trees and rocks, it is a certain tool per like for killing animals. You get hide by hitting it with a hatchet. As you get a bit of meat as well, but it's not as much. And you get meat by using the pickaxe. I'm just going to gather hide really because that's all I really need. There we go. Now I should be able to make the gloves. And I will need some more fibre to be able to make that. Just going to start crafting it. Oh, I need six more fibre. Now I have had quite a lot of experience in this game. I've got to end game about four or five times. Where I've got Giganosauruses, Quetzals, I've got I've got very far a lot of times. And I've, I just wanted to get a bit more experience before I started making videos. So I'm just going to level up to level 5 and so I can get a slingshot, which is really good for taking down big animals with, like turtles or, well I don't know the proper name for them, I think it's Carbonites or something. There's a Dillo. I'm going to try and take this Dillo on. I probably should be able to one shot it with my spear, so maybe not. This is a high level. Nine, nine, it's not too high actually. I'm just going to go to hide again and I'm going to get a bit of meat actually as well because I need to start cooking some meat in a minute. I will not the spear. I mean, not a spear, sorry, the campfire so I can start cooking some meat later on. And I do more, more movement speed. Movement speed I love in this game because it just makes it so you can get away from any animal. And there's a slingshot unlocked. What do I need to make it? I need some fibre again. As I said at the beginning of the game, fibre it is needed for everything and it's a bit annoying to get. It's probably one of my least favourite things in the game. So it is a bit annoying. But as I said the slingshot is really good. It, it helps you knock out small animals if you want to tame them. And it's just overall really good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this down here as you see I've just run out of water. In perfect timing. And I'm going to put my meat in there. Put some wood in there and start cooking that. I'll come back to that in a minute. I'm just going to collect some more rock so I can go and kill something over here. Or if there's anything to kill over here. I'm not taking on that Bronto because it's just will one shot me. Something gets ten, I'll be dead. There's a the turtle things I told you about. I'm just gonna call them turtles for now because I don't want to pronounce their proper name. Oh my 
my god. Sensitivity on this. Can't swim down this. So pulling it back really far does give you more torpor on it, so it knocks it out quicker. But like doing it quick in mind, I'm not too sure. Because the time it takes to pull it back and the time it takes to shoot it, if you got a lot of rocks in, it would probably be better doing it so you basically just don't pull it back as close as you can and doing it like that. So it'll probably give me more top. Now I see I'm out of rocks. And for some reason I can't pick any of those rocks. I'm going to have to run away for a second and get some rocks. Where's the turtle gone? There it is. Alright, it's top probably going down quite a bit by now, so that's going to be annoying, but oh well. Oh, he's running away. That means that I put his top off high enough that he could start to run away. He's on level 7 as well, so I don't know why he wasn't knocked out before. And it's stuck. No, it's not. Hitting the head doesn't get more top off, so I would recommend doing that. And it's unconscious. So let's finish up this bit here. Killing animals with lots of like a shelling type thing like this, it gives you keratin because of wherever you kill with a shell gives you keratin. But see how my spears are breaking very quickly because of it. I'm going to use this instead so my spears don't break. Your hatchets and pickaxes you can repair, but the spears you just go. Your pikes, which are metal spears, you can repair, but spears you just go whenever they're gone. And there's uh, some meat. I can see you can, I'm getting keratin as well. You do use a hatchet or a spear to get keratin though, normally. That's the best way of doing it. Now I probably lost this campfire by now, I think it's behind this rock. Yep. Alright, so I'm probably going to end it here. And if you like this video, then please give it a little thumbs up. If you want to carry on with this series, then please subscribe to my channel, it'll be a great help. See you next episode.